boys and girls. In honor of Hanukkah, we will be crafting a flute and using it to play the song, I Have a Little Dreidel. I bet you've heard that song before. Here are the supplies that we'll need. Eight colorful smoothie straws. These are thicker than the normal drinking straws. Plus, we'll need a few printed sheets from the resources attached to this video. The sheet of musical notes for I Have a Little Dreidel, the sheet with a picture of a ruler, and the coloring sheet with the menorah and numbers for the flute, as well as scissors, a permanent marker, double-sided sticky tape, and colorful pencils and markers. Let's get started. Take out your eight colorful smoothie straws and choose the order of the colors. Next, we are going to measure and mark each one to the correct length. The first straw is already the right length, so we can set that one aside. Take the second straw, line it up next to the ruler picture starting at the number zero, make a mark on the straw at number one with the permanent marker, then put that straw aside. Repeat this process with all the other straws, each time making the mark at a lower point. We'll mark the third straw at number two, the fourth straw at number three, and so on until the last straw gets marked at number seven. After we complete this step, we will cut each of the straws wherever we marked them. Meanwhile, I have a story to tell you. Many years ago, there was a South African Jewish woman who was pregnant. She went to her doctor for a checkup to make sure everything was going okay with her pregnancy. But after doing some tests, he told her some not good news. There was an issue with the baby's heart. He sent her to a doctor who specializes in children's heart issues, a pediatric cardiologist, to find out exactly what the issue was. The second doctor informed her that the baby had a very unusual heart condition that could cause a lot of problems and in fact there was a possibility that the baby wouldn't survive Chas Shalom. The woman called up her regular doctor, a Frum Jew, and he advised her to write a letter to the Lubavitcher Rebbe immediately, asking for guidance and blessings. She took his advice and wrote a very detailed letter, including every point the doctor had told her. Once you've cut each of the straws to the correct length, Line them up from longest to shortest. Make sure that all of the straws are in a straight line on one end. Now we want to stick them all together to become one happy little flute. We will tape them together with our super duper sticky double sided tape. Carefully wrap the tape around both sides of the flute so that the tape hugs it all around. It may be easier to wrap one side at a time. Now place your flute to the side but have no fear, we'll be back. Now turn your attention to the coloring sheet that you've printed. Cut it out so it becomes a long rectangle. Next, we will color it in and decorate it with colorful pencils or markers. If you'd like, you can color each of the candles to match the colors on the smoothie straws. Getting back to the story. After the woman sent her letter to the Rebbe, she received a blessing in response. A blessing that the pregnancy would go well and she would have a healthy baby. Every time she had another checkup, she wrote to the Rebbe again. The doctors did more tests each time, but still the baby showed signs of having major heart issues. But since she had this bracha from the Rebbe, she trusted that everything would be okay. Finally, it came time for her to give birth. All the doctors stood around expecting the worst. She gave birth to a baby boy, and after running some tests on him, they saw that miraculously all the issues had fixed themselves. The baby was totally healthy. It was a miracle. Hanukkah is all about thanking Hashem for the great miracles that he did for the Yidin. First there was the miracle of the small Jewish army winning over the big Greek army. Then there was the miracle of finding the jug of oil to use for lighting the menorah in the Beis HaMikdash. Finally, there was a miracle that the oil lasted for eight days instead of only one. As you may know, this is why the dreidel has the four letters, Nun, Gimel, He, and Shin, which stands for Nes Gadol Hayasham. A great miracle happened there. In addition to the miracles of Hanukkah, miracles can happen nowadays too, like the woman in our story whose baby was miraculously healed. What would you do if a big miracle happened to you? How would you thank Hashem? Maybe you would want to celebrate it and even publicize it. When you have finished coloring your sheet, stick it to the double-sided tape on your flute. Wrap the paper all the way around. Make sure the numbers and candles align with the straws. The biggest straws should match up with number one and the smallest with number eight. Cut off the piece of paper that is sticking out and then tuck the blank end underneath the words. It may need an extra piece of tape to be secure. Once that's in place, our flute is ready. Hooray! Now we can use the musical notes and numbers to play I Have a Little Dreidel. Here's how this works. Each note is represented by a number. 
you will blow into the straw that is lined up with the same number you see on the sheet. Here's an example of how it should sound. Enjoy your flute and have a happy Hanukkah!